Weather coverage you can count on. Welcome back, everyone, to the First Warn 5 Weather Road Show. Before we show you where we're headed next, I wanted to share with you a new piece of equipment that we've incorporated into the Weather Center. It's called the Weatherbug, or Neighborhood Weather Network. We sent meteorologist Daphne DeLoren to Grand Blake High School, where they're going to utilize this system as part of their studies. Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Daphne DeLorn from the First Warn 5 Weather Center and one way we reach out to the community is through school visits and today I'm here at Grand Blanc High School. We're learning about the weather bug system and how they're going to use it. We'd like to start using it as soon as possible. Um, my AP Environmental Science course that primarily I would be using the data for, uh, we have a weather unit, a weather and climate unit. We just started, so if we could start using it next week, that would be great because we're looking at how wind and temperature affect the distribution of life on the planet right now so um, we're, we're looking at a couple things with the, with the weather bug installation first of all it's to be able to implement it and integrate it within our curriculum both the high school curriculum the seventh grade middle school curriculum and the elementary module where we study weather so that'll be a great advantage to our students the other piece of this it's going to help us administratively and athletically we've um, gotten a hold of the lightning module from weather bug and that will help us see when um, in cloud and in ground lightning is coming to, to better keep our athletes and our fans safer and students safer too during the day if uh, that weather was to arise. The weather bug has officially been installed in Grand Blake High School. Both the teachers and the students are very excited to get started and later in the show meteorologist Brian Bachman he visits another school in mid-Michigan and they're ready to go. Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Brian Bachman. Greetings today from Owasso High School where I'm heading back to school today to learn a little bit about the new weather bug weather station that's been installed here and some of the uses and uh, plans they have for it here at the high school. So let's head on inside and see what we can learn. And now I'm here in the office with Dallas Lintner who actually spearheaded the project to help uh, bring weather bug here and tell us a little bit about why you were so excited to have WeatherBug in the first place? Well, for years in athletics, I've used the WeatherBug app, which many people have on their smartphones or you know, iPads and tablets. Uh, so it's been very beneficial to us in athletics. Uh, and uh, one day, a piece of mail uh, came across my desk, uh, and I noticed the WeatherBug logo. So I, you know, paid attention, read it, mailed the request for information and followed up with a phone call uh, and it turned out the gentleman I spoke to in the Baltimore office of Weatherbug had indicated that there was some grant funding available and they were looking for schools in our area uh, to install their equipment and you know I followed through in communication with that gentleman and we were able to provide a very nice opportunity for our students in our community. That's great and I you know actually just sitting here with you I learned something in the process Weatherbug is a little more than just kind of weather stations and weather data right? Yeah, yeah, it, uh, and it was news to me as well. Uh, but Owasso Public Schools, we uh, uh, are very uh, proactive in STEM education for our elementary and middle school students, uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And Weatherbug has an entire STEM educational package that's uh, aligned to national standards. Uh, so that's what really caught my attention mm -hmm. as far as wanting to bring something I already knew was a quality product uh, to our students and to our community. So now we know that schools like Owasso have Weatherbug. But why is this important to you, the viewer? Weatherbug meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff says the benefits help everyone. Weatherbug is a nationwide network of weather stations and cameras that deliver real-time, accurate data to TV stations. TV stations aren't going to have to rely on that hour-old data from the airports coming from the National Weather Service. Now they're receiving a real-time stream of data, and you're going to be able to alert viewers to changing conditions as they're changing. As it pertains to schools, when schools become part of the program, they're going to install a weather station on the roof of their building, collect that data, and deliver it into classroom activities that really engage students, not just in science, but also in math and geography, all the STEM subjects that are really taking hold across the country. And I'm here now with Aaron Belowski. He's a teacher of many sciences, physics, chemistry, astronomy, <laughs> meteorology. It's one of our favorites, right? And uh, tell us a little bit about how the weather bug set up here at Owasso High School has impacted, changed, um, enriched maybe <laughs> your uh, some of your lessons and things like that. Yeah, well, the, the big change we're going to see starting second semester when we actually get into the meteorology class. So the first half of the year is astronomy as an elective, then we pick up meteorology in the second half. But it's really going to allow for a lot more engaging um, 
lesson plans that are going to let students get some really hands-on work with it. They're going to get a more inquiry side of it where they're not just looking in the textbook, but they're actually going to get their hands-on stuff and see, all right, this is where this stuff actually comes from. Okay. This is how it actually works in the real world. It's a little more of not just you know, kind of getting the data straight from the TV or something like that, right. kind of understanding, like you say, kind of where that comes yeah, from. This is from your own roof. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time oh, to talk absolutely. to us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Now, there's a lot more to WeatherBug than simply being just a smartphone app that you can for your local weather or something that you have maybe on the desktop of your computer. It's actually made up of a network of over 8,000 weather stations just like this one here installed on the roof here of Owasso High School. And it has a whole array of different weather instruments. It can collect 27 different types of weather data. Everything from a rain gauge to let you know how much rain has fallen, how fast it's falling over the course of a given day. We can also see the weather conditions in many locations with uh, the HD cameras that a lot of these stations now have. It, of course, has your anemometer, measures the wind speed and direction there, also factors in the gusts, and also in some cases, as they will soon uh, hopefully have here at Owasso, the ability to detect and alert you to lightning strikes within a roughly a 10-mile radius. So a lot of multi-purpose uh, stations just like this bring you your local weather data like what we have here in Owasso. By building this real-time network of weather stations, WNEM is really becoming the weather leader in Flint. And by having this data, they're able to alert their viewers of changing weather conditions as those conditions are changing. So this real-time network of stations is really going to play a big role in not just delivery of weather data, but it's also for the school side of things, going to engage students to become scientists and, and mathematicians and geographers. So it's really going to do twofold of, of not only helping the TV station play a safety role, but it's also going to engage students to uh, learn in a different sort of hands-on way.